Teddy claims that he has no problem basically babysitting his cousin Perry with his uh, pornography addiction but I mean at this stage of the game when you're in your prime do you really want to be babysitting your cousin wait a minute here Perry's at the top rope as oh man just driving his buttocks into the abdomen of Jacob DJ and that definitely didn't feel good there going for a pin just a two count don't forget Perry is the legal man as you see Terry drive Ruben Dynasty into the canvas and Jacob DJ with a game changer right there driving Perry's head into the canvas using a maneuver that I have never seen before it doesn't look very effective a very weak maneuver I cannot see that putting his opponent away but I guess he did it so it would give him time to make a tag and that's exactly what I think he's gonna do and yes like most of the time I was correct here comes Ruben Dynasty signaling for the end Ruben Dynasty with a splash onto Perry thank you very much Perry for coming but it's time to go back to the locker no and Ruben Dynasty in shock I don't think there are many people that can kick out of that maneuver but Perry a new guy new to the Victory Road Wrestling roster managing to kick out but Ruben Dynasty needs to keep his composure another cover only acquiring a two count just imagine your finishing maneuver a move that has taken out so many people and and a new person manages to kick out it must be so demotivational Jacob DJ saying come on mate let me find a way to end this match let me finish this young kid off Wolo watching on they may face this the winner of this match for those titles Jacob DJ with the kangaroo spin and I don't care if you're from Bombay or from Zaire you are not kicking out of the kangaroo spin oh but Perry manages to kick out oh my goodness look at the shock on Jacob DJ's face Ruben Dynasty saying come on we need to finish this guy off Ruben Dynasty is gonna go for his signature move a second time and this is it ladies and gentlemen Ruben Dynasty with a splash going for the beam but Terry is not going to have any of that folks I guarantee you if Terry had not gotten involved we would have seen Ruben Dynasty pick up the victory Ruben Dynasty needs to stay focused there's no way that Perry is still in this one look at the frustration of Ruben Dynasty letting his emotion get the best of him Ruben Dynasty signaling for the end but Perry kicking his head off with that spinning Pele kick two and ladies and gentlemen Perry and Terry have won their debut match what an impressive debut for these two young men ladies and gentlemen but let's credit Perry for hanging in there this young man has a lot of potential let me show you why surviving a kangaroo spin and a splash and then delivering that Pele kick Wolo had better play pay close attention to these two because they could be future number one contenders ladies and gentlemen please let me introduce Roderick Peters Roderick Peters a moment ago you just lost to the debuting Faro Farasi my question to you is that do you feel less of a man for losing to a woman I just want to get something straight I take all my competitors here in Victory Road Wrestling seriously whether they're female or male and Boron Stone you better start doing the same because at Vengeful Vantage I took you to the limit just imagine what Pharaoh Pharisee is gonna do to you cuz she just beat me moments ago listen guys 
Pharaoh Pharisee took me to places I've never been. And I see a future Victory Road Wrestling Zimbabwean champion in her. The question is, will she be able to do it on the main event of this episode? We're going to find out. I hope so. Because I want to face her for that title down the line. Dream Maker. Yo, man, this party is boring as hell. Yo, what you guys need is booty tea. Booty tea? What the hell is that? Booty tea, man. It's the sickest beverage out there, quenched by only the finest of batoks. Yo, man, this party is bumping. You can thank booty tea. Booty tea, a beverage quenched only with the finest of batoks. Woody T will make his debut on the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you, this guy, he's a practical joker, to say the least. But up next, Board on Stone will defend the most prestigious title, the Zimbabwean title, against the number one contender, Ferro Fadasi. Strap in. Ferro Fadasi entering the ring with her bodyguard. Getting a once in a lifetime opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. Are we looking at the first ever female Zimbabwean champion? Feel the power of the Boron Bomb! If your hopes of seeing Faroe Farasi win this match faded, I do not blame you. Because when you actually see what Boron Stone looks like, you realize that taking away that title from him is not going to be an easy feat. Look at the biceps, the thighs, the pectorials, the trapezius muscles of this man. Boron Stone has seen it and he's done it all. Boron Stone has defended that title successfully against some of the toughest competition in this galaxy. And Boron Stone hopes to do it once again he hopes to show Pharaoh Fadasi that becoming the victory road resting Zimbabwean champion is damn near impossible look at these two facing off Roderick Peters is one of the all-time greats a future legend and she managed to defeat him in her debut match look at Boron Stone increasing the psychology of this match. Pharaoh Farasi has to do the same thing that she did to Roderick Peters. She has to use her speed. She has to stay away from Boron Stone. And you can see she's learning from that match. And Boron Stone with a grapple, with a tug of war, showing Pharaoh Farasi his strength. Look at that. Throwing Pharaoh Farasi away. Like she's a little fly. Boron Stone is very confident in himself and that's what makes him dangerous. Look at Boron Stone flexing those biceps and Faro Farasi takes advantage. This is what I'm talking about. Boron Stone really needs to focus a lot more because Faro Farasi has that speed. She'll come to you without you expecting it. Look at Boron Stone. That's just raw power. Against the ropes. Power slam. Speaking of power, a scoop slam by Boro and Stone. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. How many people do you know with the biceps the size of Boro and Stone? We measured. Boro and Stone has 60 inch biceps, bigger than that of an elephant's trunk. Boron Stone's signature maneuver, the Boron Bomb. Nobody has ever kicked out of that maneuver. He's defeated all of his opponents. Boron Stone in his entire career has only been defeated two times, I believe. That is really impressive. He's been here for a very long time since season one. And he's only been defeated twice. That tells you a lot about this man. He's definitely going to be remembered forever. Look at Boron Stone lifting up Faro Farasi again, transitioning that gorilla press into a back breaker. 
Boran Stone focusing his attack on the spine of Faro Farasi. Look at Boran Stone turning his back on Faro Farasi. But that was a mistake. Do not turn around. You're not going to like the view. Faro Farasi with the drop toe hold. Letting Boran Stone know that she is a credible opponent. Remember in the beginning of this program we saw Faro Farasi's resiliency. As she drives Boron Stone's head into the canvas. Is this it? Just a two count. Faro Farasi kicking and moving, kicking and moving. I really like that. Oh my goodness! Faro Farasi pretty much just kicked Boron Stone's head off, going for another flying head scissors. Look at Faro Farasi's bodyguard. Vertical suplex, no. Reversed by Boron Stone into a brain buster. A brain buster doesn't just affect your neck, it affects your spinal cord. And that will prove beneficial for Boron Stone when he delivers that Boron bomb. Boron Stone very strategic in the ring. Every move counts for Boron Stone. And the fact that Boron Stone is doing that against Pharaoh Farasi just tells me that he's beginning to take her seriously. He's beginning to see her as a threat. As Faro Farasi lies on the turnbuckle, Boron Stone delivers a spear right to the abdomen. Once again, beneficial for the Boron Bomb. A throw toss by Boron Stone. That's just raw power. There's no better way to explain it. You see Boron Stone working on the ribs, the torso of Faro Farasi. Oh, and what's this? Boron Stone exposing the steel. I do not like where this is going. We saw something similar to this adventure for Vantage. Boron Stone, Faro Farasi in a awful predicament and her face right onto the exposed steel. Oh my goodness. And yes, it indeed, Faro Farasi has been busted open. Oh man. Boron Stone is really bringing it to Faro Farasi. You see, the tone has changed. Boron Stone is really starting to take her seriously, pulling out all stops, torturing Faro Farasi. But for now, Faro Farasi showing some fight from peak to peak. She needs to go for the cover, but ladies and gentlemen, you need to keep in mind that just moments ago she had her face driven into the exposed steel. Faro Farasi using her last breath to deliver that peak to peak maneuver. Faro Farasi has recovered. But to no surprise of me and the fanatics only acquiring a two count, had Faro Farasi pinned him earlier, she could have won, but Boron Stone just like that. The momentum changing to Boron Stone's favor with that sleeper hold. Choking the life out of Faro Farasi. Taking the wind out of her sail. Boron Stone with the no! Faro Farasi reversing, driving her crotch into the face of Boron Stone against the ropes. Faro Farasi with a crucifix pin! Could this be it? Oh my goodness! Faro Farasi, ladies and gentlemen, is the new Victory Road Wrestling Zimbabwean champion. Despite a slingshot, she delivered that peak to peak maneuver, reversed the Boron Bomb, and much to the shock of the collective, delivering a victory inducing crucifix beam. We have witnessed history, ladies and gentlemen. Faro Farasi, the first ever female. Victory Road Wrestling Zimbabwean Champion. Faro Farasi has cemented her name in the history books as we see Boron Stone disappointed. Zimbabwe has a new representative, a female representative, Faro Farasi represented.
representing Zimbabwe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Victory Road Wrestling.